What's going on guys, The Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial and in today's cut, as you guys can already tell, it's not a haircut. My man's bald. This is actually a beard transformation. I haven't brought this to the channel yet. I have a beard personally myself, so I take a lot of pride in, do in working on beards. So I wanted to make sure I brought a tutorial for that to you guys in case you have trouble with beards or you have very many beards that come through your into your chair. What we're gonna do, we're gonna treat it just like a fro. Take a pick, pick all that hair out. We wanna detangle it as best as we can. And you also wanna pull the hair out to its longest length because what you don't want to have happen is for him to go home after you've cut it, pick it out himself or comb it out and then it be uneven because you didn't do your job up front. So make sure you pay attention to those details, pick it out, get it to its fullest length, get it untangled. Now we're gonna work on fading it down and really debulking it. This is a three yard closed. We're gonna treat it just like you would on a haircut up top. You're gonna go straight up and off the head at the parietal ridge. Here we're gonna go straight down the cheek line and then we're gonna come out. Once you get down to the jawline or so, you do not want to round this guard under the jawline at all. You will remove all of that bulk underneath. That's the last thing that we wanna do. We're making sure that we come straight down and off the cheek. Now I've taken the guard off. We've got the lever all the way closed and we're just freehanding down through here. Same way as if you were reshaping a fro up top, you really just want to hear, hit any of those crazy hairs that are sticking out. We're gonna do this in two sides, so that's why I put the guard back on. We did it the, the lip over to his right side. Now, took the guard back off, closed the lever all the way up, had him tilt his head back a little bit, and we're gonna put a nice sharp line underneath from the longest point of his beard in the front back down towards his Adam's apple, and we'll put a rough draft hard line underneath. I personally really enjoy having sharp lines underneath and on that back line because that really sets up uh, the shape of the beard. It really gives a nice form. So that's what we're doing here. Just a nice uh, rough draft shape. We'll use the FX trimmers here in a second, really sharpen that up. Now we're gonna go ahead and fade down. It's the same techniques as if you fade it up, but you gotta do it reverse. So we're gonna start with the lever closed. Then we'll go down a little bit, open it up halfway. Go down a little bit more, open it up all the way. Now this is a two guard closed, down with the growth of the hair. Really just at that top line, that's really what you're wanting to soften up some. And then I flipped it over, hit that a little bit more. Now I took a one guard, started with it closed here, just hit that top line, then you open it up a little bit, drop it down some, and then there's a line left right here. Now I'm gonna take the one and a half guard, go down with the growth of the hair first, flip it over, hit a few hairs here going up against the growth of the hair. And now I like where the fade is and where the blend is. So we're gonna use the Babyliss FX trimmers. And if you guys have been around my channel much at all, you really know how much I enjoy these FX trimmers. This is a silver pair, but with the gold blade, I picked this silver pair up from JT Faded. He's one of the barbers here at Clutch. Do me a huge favor, guys. Head over to his Instagram, it's JT Faded. This man is an amazing young barber. Uh, show him some love, build his confidence up because he is an amazing barber. And I'm really excited to see where he starts going from here. But I actually bought these from him. I put the gold blade on it because I like how the gold blade, you can use it for these curved edges. The graphite blade, I didn't feel like you could. I feel like it snagged a lot. And then I put the sharp line up top and I decided right in this moment to go ahead and fade it down even more. So we put a small bald line there with the FX trimmer, flicked it out with the Slimline Pro. Now we're gonna do the same steps as we did while ago with a no guard. And then we'll take this line out here with the one and a half. I've got it closed up. I'm really just hitting that top line. I liked where this was at, so we went ahead and moved on. Actually, I just did, I do hit, um, I hit a hair or two one more time with the FX trimmers, just to make sure that we like where this line is at. That way, when we come in with the shape or the razor here in a minute, we're not removing too many uh, longer hairs. It's gonna be more or less just really sharpening up that top line. So now we're gonna move on to underneath here. This is where I feel like there is some controversy with the FX trimmers. Me personally, I don't have trouble with mine this one or the gold one I had before the set with them snagging underneath. Cuts by Coast, he's another amazing barber that I work with at Clutch. I've been with him ever since barber school. Head over to his YouTube channel, Cuts by Coast, and his Instagram, blow him up. He just hit 1K, so congrats to homie for that. He's actually had a little bit of trouble with his FX's really snagging underneath, especially in the Adam's Apple area. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have had that trouble. I personally haven't, so I enjoy using them. Some people have, so I'd like to know what you guys think. But just like as always, guys, up top with a haircut, with the same thing with the beard. Whatever you do to one side, you've gotta do it to the other side. Match it up, keep everything symmetrical. So, started with that three guard close. We're going down with the growth of the hair, straight down the cheek line, and then off 
you can kind of see me flicking out at the bottom. You do not want to round that guard down underneath the, that cheek line or that jaw line because that will remove way too much bulk. You'll gap him and you'll pretty much have to take his beard down to, you know, pretty short. It's not what we want to do. We want to keep that fullness appearance, but just give him a nice manicured shaped up beard. Took the guard off, closed the lever all the way up. Now we're just freehanding again, put another rough draft line underneath, cleaning up a lot of that unnecessary bulk. Uh, we're coming right here, you can see me, I'm going straight down that hairline, just making sure that we get anything that's sticking out that doesn't need to be there. We'll come in with the FX trimmers here in a second, put a sharper line underneath. And I just really like how those FX's, they, they hit so hard, but for me personally, they're soft as well because I don't, I really don't have any complaints from clients with them being too sharp in such sensitive areas because I know underneath the neck is a sensitive area. I haven't had any issues with my clients, you know, thinking that they're too sharp. So until I do, I'm going to keep using them. And I just love how they put, I mean, razor sharp lines is, is, in my opinion. We'll, we can come back in with the razor and, and make it sharper, but almost no need to. But you put a sharp line on this back, back line here that once again gives a nice framework for the beard and then I learned from the other side that I do want to take this fade down farther than I had initially planned to so we're gonna go straight into it don't waste no time don't do all the other steps like we did on the other side go straight into it right where you where you know you want to take that line down to here we're gonna push his beard down to this his top fullest line you don't want to push him in too much just to make that line dark just push it down to the, his top fullest line right where the bulk of all his hair starts that's where you want to take it to and we're going to go in and immediately start fading. So we did the FX trimmer line. Of course, you'll flick it out with the Slimline Pro. Started with the lever closed. Just did a little bitty flick out section there. And we're going to slowly open it up more and more until we open it up all the way, slowly working our way down. We we'll use the one and a half, just like we did on the other side. Hit that top line just a little bit more, debulk it some, go down with the growth of the hair, flip it over, flick out that top line, check in the mirror, make sure that we like where that color is at. We do, so we'll go ahead and move on. With the cheek hair, I like to use the Babless FX Shaver. Go ahead and knock all that extra cheek hair down, get it out of the way. We don't want hair you know, up just below his eye because um, those are some of those details that you guys need to make sure you pay attention to. You don't want to do all this work on a beard and then let your man walk out with a lot of cheek hair that's unnecessary for him to leave with. You need to take care of that yourself. So we're gonna apply the shave gel, pull out our exposed blade razor, use our thumbs, stretch that skin tight, hold that, what you can do is you can take your razor, hold it at a, at a 45 degree angle, bring it back to the line, keep everything consistent, and you can pull that cheek and pull that, you almost pull the cheek up to where that line is a straight line. It's a curved line when you let go of that skin, but when you pull it tight, it almost needs to be a straight line from, from the bottom point all the way up to the top where you're at right there. And you guys can tell here in a second, I checked the camera because I have, the, I have it in a new position, so I'm wanting to make sure that I'm not in the way. Let me know, guys, if you can tell a difference in the quality of the camera work. Uh, this is my new Canon M50, and I also have it on a tripod instead of my ring light, so I'm trying to really make sure that everything is where it needs to be so that I can bring you the best content. We used a shaver and a razor, so of course we're going to apply alcohol. I got some alcohol on this uh, towel here, and we're just going to brush through there. And that's about it, guys. You can tell, really grown out, very bushy, surrounding back underneath his ear there. Uh, it's really bulky all the way up through the cheek. You'll see once, once I switch over to the finished product, it's straight flush down with the head, real boxy, nice full beard underneath, very well manicured. Guys, take a second, let me know in the comment section what you think. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Enable those notifications and you'll never miss another video from me. Sunday and Wednesday is the schedule. And until the next video, guys, I appreciate it.